everybody. It's me, Bob Anderson of Bob Anderson Art. And I'm back today to continue working on this farm scene mural. And what I wanna do now is I'm down here on the ground because I wanna start working on this area right here where the little creek runs underneath the bridge and there's the dark water down here and then I have all of the green uh, reeds and plants that are coming out of the water and the flowers that are on the bank. Okay, so I'm gonna start working on that right now. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm gonna first start with black and I'm gonna start kind of creating the movement of blades, tall blades of greenery, grass, cattails, anything you want to call it. And we're going to put them all the way up here so it creates kind of like a backdrop of lines because this area is going to be thick with greenery coming up from the, the bank of the, the creek with flowers in it and, and some greenery coming up right up from the dark water. Okay. So I'm just gonna put it in like this, just kind of making them go every which way, just like they do in life. So this is just the background for the greenery that I'm going to put in. So I'm just making these long, bending blades of greenery, which after I'm done with it, will have flower greenery and flowers coming out of them, or just simply green reeds coming out of the water. I hope you can see. And these just begin to break up the, uh, the background of the greenery so that there's dark, because there's always dark blades. Beneath what you see of the greenery, there will be darker blades. Even if they're green, they will look darker because they're, they don't have as much light reflecting on them. Because they're buried underneath or behind the other blades of greenery, which could be flowers or just reeds. Now I'm going to start to put some green in. Okay. And for this, I have a tube of acrylic green paint. Okay. So now, I'm going to follow some of these down in to the water. And I mix some of them a little darker. I mix some of the green with black so it's a little darker. Okay. And it goes all the way down to the bottom because as you see in my painting, the, the, the blades are coming out of the whole area. Okay, so I'm just continuing on with this.
and then putting some of the green reeds coming out of the black down here. Bending like tall blades of grasses do. I go back and forth, putting some darker ones on again and going back and forth between dark and medium and lighter. Right now I'm working on the dark ones. And so I just keep building up and putting layers upon layers of these tall grasses, reeds, or flowers, because that's the way they are in real life. There's so many in here, they're coming out every direction. And so now I can start lightening some up with some yellowy green. See how that goes? And it begins to fill in this area of this dark water here, changing it from a dark black based out abyss to a life, a living edge of a waterway, a little creek. <laughs> okay. Okay, now I'm just gonna continue on with this. And then I will start putting flowers in some of these areas here because these will be on the bank. I'll just put reeds down here or tall grasses. And then on the bank here, I'll start putting flowers. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.